What's going on guys? My name's Bill, this is Tool Tech Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, I like to bring you guys tools that I've been using in my videos or that I've been using on projects in and around the garage. Pop rivets. These things are a staple in sheet metal work. They're a quick and easy way to hold pieces of sheet metal together. But one of the problems you run into with them is the head of the rivet sits proud, right? It, it sits above the surface. What if you were working on something and you wanted to use rivets to hold it together, but you wanted the head to sit flush with the surface instead of sitting proud? That's where this dimple die kit by Aircraft Tool Supply comes in. Guys, these things, you look at these, these are little miniature dimple dies for rivets. Now, they're meant to be used in their own simple tool, kind of clamp down on the sheet metal to compress it, to dimple it. But I just took a cheap pair of these uh, sheet metal pliers from Harbor Freight, drilled a hole on each side to accommodate the, the shaft on that. So again, these are just, if you look at them, they're just miniature dimple dies. Perfect for work like this. Now, they're not gonna work on thicker material. This is some scrap 18, 20 gauge maybe, some really thin sheet metal. You don't wanna try to use, use these dimple dies on thicker material. It just, it's not gonna happen. Um, but for thin sheet metal, it's great. So I've already pre-drilled a couple pieces of sheet metal here with an eighth inch hole for an eighth inch rivet. So now here's the one that I did earlier. You can see, hopefully it'll show up well, just how proud that head of the rivet sits above the surface of the sheet metal. But if you want it to sit flush, what you do is you just real simple, put this in here. These jaws don't line up the best. Like I said, it's a homemade tool. But now, put that in there, clamp it together, and now you've got a little miniature dimple die. Perfect for the head of that rivet to sit in. Now, obviously, it works great on this surface piece, but now if you were to try to combine or rivet those together, obviously it's not gonna work. So you have to dimple both sides. You gotta give a relief dimple on the underneath piece for the top piece to sit in, right? So you would dimple both pieces. And it's that easy, again. Doesn't take a whole lot of pressure. Like I said, it's only like 18 or 20 gauge. But now, you can put those pieces together, put your rivet in, now, if I could get myself coordinated, Got it riveted together. And you can see the head of that rivet. If I can get a good angle here. Hopefully you can see that is now relatively flush. That's a lot closer than what that is. Hopefully this shows up well enough, guys. But you can see now if you were gonna have something maybe over this, you didn't wanna see that rivet through whatever this might be, maybe you're gonna cover this with some material. Now that rivet sits flush and you're less likely, likely to have the head of that rivet kinda show through whatever might be covering it. Or maybe you just wanna, it's a lot less likely for anything to maybe catch on it. Not that it, a whole lot's gonna catch on a rounded head, 
but it just makes for a nice smooth surface instead of having little bumps all over the surface of your material. Guys, check out the Dimple Die Rivet Set by Aircraft Tool Supply. I'll leave a link down below. Appreciate you for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, and get back to work. Forgot the name of the company.